Welcome back everyone, welcome to Zooplex and as we were doing made a new class in Duke so we will go and teach you about CSS what is CSS CSS is used to make a color in our website so you might be asking as inside our house we have painter coming over here and being a web designer you are actually a painter to a website so what we are going to do is adding style and pose and point to it will be in our hand so what do we need to do is as we have made one file so i'm going to minimize this i'm going to tell you what is css css is cascading style sheet in small caps we are going to say it's css css used to style our html is a style sheet language used for describing the presentation of document written in markup language so i'm going to minimize this one as we have made index file and then dude file so we have created two files and as you see it is showing that it's not much interesting as far we have created this much but it's not that interesting so what I will do is see over here also this showing simple lines we can do same thing with p tag but we have made a div tags and we have not added any p tag to it there is no p tag but it is showing like p tag over here but this is the real way and not the p tag way be everything need to be in the the section in tutorial in of division I explain you what is the reason of adding there we can change it using CSS but we can't do anything in P tag it will get more explanatory later on so in CSS there are three type of CSS that will be inside inline CSS and then we'll have uh, outline css so in inline css you are going to add lines inside our html and in external css we are going to make a one folder like this and add all the css to it so no matter how many pages are there in our website it is going to appear in all of them but you can change it inside like I'm going to add your CSS I'm going to add as we were adding CSS in our index file like for example we have added with 200% that was CSS and it was inline CSS but we are going to add an external CSS so I'm going to go file create new one and then I have not explained you about meta tags so as you know that I was typing chart set chart set meta tag utf8 so you were thinking what is utf so I'm going to tell you what is utf stands for I'm going to go in a css and create a new file so what I'm going to do is going to Put shift and press 2 that will give me at the rates and I'm going to put char set to it as you see over here and this is not having so where is char set coming so I'm going to copy this one and as you see it is inside the head tag and below the title tag so I'm going to go inside that type height tag and below the title tag I'm going to put an enter and I'm going to control V that will going to paste and you see utf eat char set i'm going to add like this utf then space and then put eight and then after that i'm going to put a semicolon to it and then going to go hit enter so after adding char set i'm going to tell you about adding commands to your html document or css document so what is 
uh, command is actually whatever I am saying you can hear it but when you are going to code you are not going to hear me because you have watched my video but what is going to be the reference to it will be the comments and there you see read the command and you understand what it is standing for so what I'm going to put is press shift backspace and I'm going to shift and press E that will give me a star and I'm going to say it is a CSS document and then go shift star and then backspace it is going to be a document so I'm going to hit enter and as we were typing IDs and class so you might be thinking what is IDs and class what is the reason for that so I'm going to give it a reason so what I have named it as QWE so I'm going to control C I'm going to go back in a CSS class and I'm going to put shift and then press 3 that is going to give me a hash and I'm then I'm going to control V that will give me QWE and then what I want to put hit enter and then I'm going to put curly braces to it I'm going to put some space and then we are going to add some CSS to it so for CSS what we will need to add in our browser is like putting a size to it font color and then background size and text color so what I will do is go back to our text editor and I'm going to add a background to it so I'm going to create name it as back background background and then I'm going to add color and then we are going to put red but that's not what I want actually I will tell you about that in the later video when I switch to Photoshop and I'm going to put shift and going to put hash to it and that will be 31 and then the color code will be 339 and then put a semicolon and then put a color color will be the text color so I'm going to put a color and then add the color to it that is well, for example fc3 and then put a colon to it and then I'm going to put font size then font size I want is size and then cook 32 for example px stands for pixels whatever you see in the computer is the reason because of pixels and then I want to put font weight you are going to get familiar with it because we are going to go and create many of them so don't worry so after that let's see go on file save as and and then I'm going to type the name as for example style dot CSS I'm going to go on desktop and then save it so there you have the color in our files because we have made everything good and see I have made a background spell wrong that's the reason I got the color like that and then I got the color like that and now you see all the suggestion I'm getting over here so I'm going to go and save file and then minimize it and see have we created yes it is the CSS style so what I want that we have created 3 1 but what I want is little arrangement so it is called architecture of files so I'm going to create new one create new folder and then I'm going to put the folder name as web desi name dudes and then I'm going I'm what I'm going to do is hold and drag and drop hold drag and drop hold drag and drop and then there I have all the files so as I have 
all the files in it so what I want is go back in a text editor file save file save file file save but we are going to close it everything and then close it like that and you see that it created again because it was linked that and we have made here also but it is going to save it over here so we don't want that to happen so what I'm going to do is close this one and then close this one and I'm going to go back and open it right click on index file and then open with so I'm not getting any option of that so what I'm going to do is minimize this one open a text editor minimize this one open a text editor and then I'm going to hit like that and there you have it magically so I'm going to go back and then I'm going to open the tools and then I'm going to go back and paste it so I got the tooth one tools also and then style one so I'm going to click and drag it like that and there you have it everything is arranged properly going to minimize this one and then what I'm going to go is delete I don't want anything just go away so there you have it we have created simple one so I'm going to minimize this see if it works now to section so that's up for this video and see you in the next one thanks for watching my name is Nazir and I'm signing out